Hello students. In this video, we're going to write this linear system as a matrix equation. Now, um, I would recommend that um, you also uh, check out my video on how to do this in reverse. Um, it's going to become really important for you to understand um, linear systems as matrix equations and then uh, matrix equations, of course, being converted to linear systems. That's important in and of itself, but I also want to give you a certain perspective on a way to view uh, linear systems as things called linear combinations of vectors and scalars. All right, here we go. So notice that um, if I just look at this linear system here, um, I'm just going to highlight the coefficients. So I have 3 minus 4, 1, minus 1, 5, minus 4, and then before x1 I had a 1, before x2 I had a 1, and then there's a missing x3 here, so I just put a 0 in front of that. And then I write that as 2, 6, 1. So um, if you look at what we have here on the right-hand side, I've just highlighted the coefficients and the right-hand side. And if you um, really stare at those, um, you'll see that that is actually going to give us our um, linear system of equations. Now, notice that I have a vector here, 3 minus 1, 1. I could have that perspective, and I can factor out the x1 here. I take minus 4, 5, 1, and I can factor out the x2 here. And I take the 1 minus 4, 0, and I can factor out the x3 here. It's a perfectly legitimate um, vector operation. A scalar times a vector gives you something back in the vector space. Now, um, I recommend that you um, also view my video on how to do matrix vector multiplies, where I show um, that what I have here on the left-hand side is actually a matrix vector multiply. And um, what we do here is now we take the x1, x2, and x3, and I think of that as vector matrix multiplication. And here we go. Here it is, x1, x2, x3. I've now put these as a column vector. Now, if you think about that, that is matrix vector multiplication. Again, I recommend that you take a look at my video where I do ve vector matrix multiplication, where I show that the first component times the first column plus the second component times the second column plus the third component times the third column. You add those together, and you get the matrix vector multiply. Um, that is equal to the right-hand side, 2, 6, 1. And now you have a system. This is the matrix A. This is the vector X. And this is the right-hand side B. And um, if you just uh, if you don't like this perspective here from, from this step to this step, um, I encourage you to think about this. When you had the vector matrix multiply, you took this column vector and you multiplied it by this row. You had 3x1 minus 4x2 plus x3. Then you took this column vector and you had minus 1x1 plus 5x2 minus 4x3. And then you took this column vector and you multiplied it and you got minus x1 plus x2 plus 0x3. Now notice that in every case I multiplied 3 minus 1, 1, this first column, by x1. In every case I multiplied minus 4, 5, 1, the middle column, the second column, by x2. And I multiplied the third column by x3. And that's exactly what we did here. Okay. Um, in the next video, I encourage you to watch. I'm going to do this in reverse to convince you that um, this step, uh, this second step to this last step is legitimate. All right. Good luck.